well, I could ride through this. I don't know how much there is. Still a long ways back to the pavement. Cause I... Hi, I'm Steve Williams, and this is Scooter in the Sticks. I'm out today on a ride uh, through the mountains, and it's uh, a little wetter and muddier than I anticipated, but that's okay. Um, at the end of the month, I'm going to complete or begin my 69th revolution around the sun. And uh, it's strange how fast all this time has passed. I had, uh, I still have clear, crystal, crystal clear memories from childhood. And it's almost as if they happened yesterday. And then suddenly I find myself taking a handful of medication every morning. So it has me thinking a lot about aging and uh, how things change. And one of the things that changes is, is my definition of what's prudent as a rider. And uh, I thought I would talk a little bit about that on this ride out in the mountains. So let's get going. Well, I just stocked up on uh, food for the trip because uh, where I'm going, I'm not going to see any cafes or restaurants and it will be uh, potentially a long day. It's possible when I get into the back country, I won't see another vehicle or another person all day. nice to get off the main arteries onto these secondary roads. Now there's still cell coverage here, but as I climb up onto the Allegheny front and into some of the old Jeep trails, I'm not sure what the cell coverage will be like. Back in 2015, I suffered a heart attack, had a 100% blockage on one of the arteries supplying blood to my heart, and uh, had that happened when I was out on the road, it would have been catastrophic. However, I was lucky. I was in the emergency room when it happened. There was a cardiologist there, and they quickly had me in the catheter lab, inserted the stent, and cleared the blockage. And because of that, I uh, didn't have any damage to my heart. So I dodged a bullet. But as my uh, 69th birthday approaches at the end of the month, I find myself re-examining how I manage risk while riding and more specifically what's prudent for me uh, considering the changes in me physically over time. I'm fortunate that my cardiologist now is an adventure rider. He rides a BMW F800GS. So he can 
talk to me from a, an informed uh, place about what's safe and what isn't. So I, I've had the all clear to ride for some time, but I've not really talked to him about the risks involved in riding alone in far-flung places with no cell coverage and a low probability that I'm going to see any other traffic or people on the road. So, it's something that uh, I'm revisiting. And, and just so you understand, I'm not fearful of riding by myself, but I want to make sure what I'm doing makes sense and uh, that's what's been on my mind lately as I go on rides like this. Well, I'm heading up uh, a Jeep trail up onto the Allegheny Plateau now and uh, it's a no maintenance trail so depending on the weather and other conditions it can be really rough and as I get older I start to consider um, is it prudent for me to be riding alone in a place like this um, if I fall down and hurt myself break my ankle break a leg in places like this that are remote and no cell coverage it's a problem and uh, so I've begun thinking about how to manage that and I've been looking at a Garmin InReach Mini 2 uh, GPS system uh, it's to send SOS's and uh, emergency messages and it could help bridge the gap where there's no cell coverage so it's one way to prudently handle uh, changes in life. Well, I got turned around. I don't know if it's a sign of old age or not, but uh, I had to stop and look at the map. <laughs> and my memory uh, didn't hold all the route details in my head very well. So I have to backtrack a bit here. But I made a big uh, circle rather than head off to where I want to go. But it's a pleasant ride through here. So no harm, no foul. I know a lot of the uh, concern I expressed in this video, I should say generally when I'm riding and not making a video, I'm not preoccupied with thoughts of how to manage risk and things like that. Um, just enjoying the ride, enjoying the scenery, so I don't, don't want to give anyone the impression that they need to be constantly pouring over this kind of stuff in their head. Instead, it's just beautiful to be out. I'm so fortunate to be able to do this. You know, it's something I... I've read comments from, from people on my blog and, and YouTube whenever I ponder getting another motorcycle or saying maybe it's time to quit riding off-road and get something different. I can tell you, after being out for a few hours already on the Himalayan, um, it's a wonderful motorcycle. And for the way I ride and where I ride, it does everything. It's fine on any road I'm going to come across. It's fine on on this dirt and gravel, you know, I can carry through here at 
fourth gear 30 35 miles an hour if I want and if I want to go a lot slower it's perfectly happy at that too so I guess I find myself saying I'm gonna keep the Himalayan until I literally can't ride it anymore I've had to stop I thought maybe my tire went flat, but uh, this road is surface is deceptive. Uh, back about a half mile in the shade in the woods, it's muddy and it was real greasy. And the tires were just wandering everywhere. And even this heavy gravel, when I walk on it, it's mushy. So I don't know if they what exactly is going on, but these these stock tires, this is where they're not great and it will be uh, the next time I'm going to get more aggressive tires on this because it would make it a lot more uh, sure-footed here but anyway I'm going to keep going now that I know I don't have a flat tire Man, it's been a lot more rain up here than a lot more rain up here than uh, back home. So, uh, what bothers me about this is I think there are two stream crossings down this way, and. Uh, normally one of the creeks I'm familiar with and it's it's wide but not very deep in the summer but with all the rain we've been having it could be really deep and so I won't be able to get through here but we'll see one of the ideal management plans for riding as I get older with the health issues I have is to not ride solo. And I've been thinking a lot about that. I mean, my entire life I've enjoyed backpacking by myself, uh, riding by myself. And it's not that I'm antisocial, but I, I certainly lean towards the more introverted side of things and and relish time alone it recharges my batteries but so I've already said something happens when you're by yourself you're you're on your own to fix it as well so those thoughts are rolling over in my head from time to time what I should do about that Well, thankfully, this road is not muddy. At least not like that one stretch I was on. I think this is a very old road, and it's probably packed down pretty hard with stone and grit over the years. Well, is this a water crossing? It actually has a bridge. Um, the fact that they might be logging in here could mean they uh, they've bridged all this stuff. Now the question is, what's it going to be like going up the other side here?
Not too bad, how about you? Nice ride up here, huh? Sure is. Though the road, uh, the road going across from Rattlesnake Pike over to Beaver Road, it's just muddy, greasy. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I thought everything would be, be like this. But you could see even the vehicles going through there were kind of... Yeah, I'm not really, I'm just kind of sightseeing and not really riding, riding. So, yeah, I don't want to get in anything too wild. Is this the 300? Yeah. That's the Itchy Boots one. Yeah, actually it is. Yeah. This is the old Itchy Boots. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I think when she was in South America, she was riding one of these. These are tough to get. Actually, this thing's only about two weeks old. Really? Yeah. You live around here? Or? Yeah. About two and a half hours from here, but we're camping down here at uh, Black and Oh, okay. Well, it's a nice bike. Yeah, so far I like it. So did you come from uh, 53, the paved road, or...? Well, no. if you go out here, it kind of hooks, it, it drops down to another trail. If you go left, it'll take you out towards Casanova, I think is the name of the town. Okay. Once you hit that, it's it's a, a hard road that goes left. It'll take you down to the campground where I'm at. Now, when you get to that trail, you can go straight up over the mountain, though, can't you? This one continues up to under Interstate 80. Yeah, I never went out that way. I don't know. I, I, I went to Interstate 80 the other day I rode out here and I just turned around and went back and today I thought well I'd go this way and yeah. see what it looks like. You say this gets pretty ugly. This was fine all the way to the paved road and if you make a right when you get to the paved road that'll take you back down to the park okay, that's but good. about uh, 200 yards up there's a left and I think it's called uh, Underwood Road. That's a mess. So, yeah, I'm not. And your your tires look a little more aggressive than mine. If I had better tires, it wouldn't have been an issue. No, but I'm not, not looking to go nuts today. I just wanted to stay on this <laughs> stuff and just enjoy the ride. There you go. Well, have a good one. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Kind of neat to meet someone on the road, and uh, sure is beautiful out here today. The sky's getting a little darker, and it's getting kind of windy. Makes me wonder whether the weather up here is different. There's a is pretty much for a long ways off state forest and forest lands you can see some ridges way off in the distance there but I don't think I'm going that far today Well, I could ride through this. I don't know how much there is. Still a long ways back to the pavement because I need to get headed home. So I'm going to have to go a way that I know won't have a lot of barriers. But anyway, another time.
I uh, think anyone riding as they're getting older, and older can be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever, I think it makes sense to uh, reassess from time to time whether you have any limitations or any changes that might call on you to make some prudent changes to your riding habits or styles. Uh, I know there will be some in my future. But until next time, I'm Steve Williams. This is Scooter in the Sticks. Be well and ride safe.